Hey, Derek here, and welcome to lesson three in our WordPress SEO tune-up series. So, lesson one, we talked about duplicate content, how WordPress creates duplicate content, and we also talked about the Yoast plugin and how to use that to plug all of the proverbial duplicate content holes. Now, in our last video, we talked about how to uh, use Yoast for on-page optimization, how to use its page analysis feature, which is awesome because it's so much better uh, than so many of the tools out there, and it's free, okay? That's the best part. It's free. Uh, now, in this video, I want to give you a couple more tips to make sure your WordPress website is completely fine tuned and kicking butt. Okay, so. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is speed, okay? WordPress is, it's a pretty quick CMS, right? It's pretty fast, but the reality is, is the way WordPress works is there's not static pages. There's not actual HTML pages. What that means is every time somebody comes, they request a page, it has to call that page from a database, all the related images, and load it up. Now, there's a way to make that much faster, and that is using a plugin. Now, there's two plugins out there that are really good. Uh, there's one that's called WP Super cache, all right? Uh, and then there's one that I prefer that's called W3 Total Cache, okay? So uh, you can go to the uh, Google plugin uh, directory and search W3 Total Cache, all right? And uh, they'll show you how to configure that. And basically what that does is it takes those pages and it caches them. It makes them into like static pages so they load much faster. Now, site speed is an important component of search engine rankings. Google gives faster sites a little bit of a boost because really slow sites that take forever to load, they don't like that. So you wanna make sure your website is super optimized, super fast and kicking butt. And to do that, uh, WordPress is quick, but if you wanna make it quicker, use the W3 Total Cache plugin. And uh, what that's gonna do is it's gonna help you further optimize your website by caching the pages so they load up instantly. All right, the next thing I want you to do, after you've gone through, you've used the Yoast plugin, you've configured it all, you've done all your on-page optimization, I want you to go through and make sure there's no errors on your page. Now, there's a couple tools to do that. Now, first of all, Google Webmaster Tools, okay? Uh, Google Webmaster Tools, so GWT, and uh, they will give you a crawl report, okay? So you can go in there and uh, into your Google Webmaster Tools account, and Google will tell you, do we find any errors on your website? And uh, if you do, they'll tell you where it is so you can go and fix them. So maybe it's a broken link, a 404, something like that. So you can go through and clean all of those issues up. And obviously, if Google's saying, hey, something's broken on your website, you should go and fix it, okay? Now, another cool tool, which is, uh, they've got a free version of it that I really like, is something called Screaming Frog, okay? Screaming, <laughs> I love the name, Screaming, what does a Screaming Frog even sound like? And uh, I believe it's screamingfrog.co.uk. And uh, if you uh, search Screaming Frog SEO as well in Google, you're gonna find that. Now that's a cool little tool. What it's gonna do is it's gonna rip through your website and it's gonna show you every single page. It's gonna show you all your heading tags. It's gonna show you all of your meta title tags, your description tags, links, everything like that. So you can see very quickly all of the different tags. Are you missing anything? Is anything not right? Should you be using keywords anywhere else? So it's a pretty cool tool. It'll tell you a lot about that. So between Google Webmaster tools and a tool like Screaming Frog, which is also free, you can get a really good on-page analysis. Now, if you want to get into some paid stuff, things like SEO Moz or Internet Business Promoter, those have some great on-page tools as well that really get into the finite nitty-gritty stuff. But at the end of the day, uh, these two, they're free and they're going to do the trick for you. They're going to help you make sure your page doesn't have any errors in it. So we've made our page faster and we've made sure there are no errors in our page as well. And then the final, uh, the final thing that I want to talk about here is uh, creating nofollow links. And fortunately, there's plugins to do that. Uh, in fact, one, if you go to the Google plugin directory and search uh, nofollow, you're going to find a whole bunch of them. One of the more popular ones, though, is called Ultimate no follow okay and uh, what this plugin is going to allow you to do when you install it it's going to give you more finite control over your links uh, your outbound links on your website and uh, so the very first thing i do is i would install that and i would set my comments to no follow and the reason you want to do that is because Although, sure, you have lots of great people commenting on your blog, you could have somebody comment on your blog and that can leave their, the link 
a backlink there to a site that may be low quality, okay? And uh, although linking out to high quality sites is good, okay? That can help your ranking. Linking out to really low quality, untrusted sites can actually have a negative impact on your ranking. So I never want any link I don't control to be a do follow and comments I don't always control. So what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna set those to default to no follow. And then, you know, I can pick and choose throughout my website using short codes that this gives us. Uh, what Web, what links I want to be do follow, what links I want to be no follow. But the bottom line is, is three more things just to really tighten up that WordPress optimization. So in video one, we talked about making sure you don't have duplicate content. In video two, we talked about on-site optimization. And now a couple more tips to wrap things up. Make sure your website's fast using the W3 Total Cache plugin. Use the Google Webmaster Tools crawl report to make sure there's no errors in your website. And also a tool like screamingfrog.co.uk. You can download that for Mac or PC. They'll scan through your website and you can see all of your um all of your title tags, descriptions, uh, uh, heading tags, all that good stuff. See what keywords you've used so you can scan through that, get a good picture of your website. And also, uh, you know, obviously more advanced tools like SEO Moz has a good crawl tool. Internet Business Promoter has a great crawl tool as well. But those are all paid, much more expensive tools. So if you're just getting started, Google Webmaster Tools is going to tell you what's wrong with your website. That's perfect. And then uh, a tool like Screaming Frog, which has a free version, which is typically going to give you more than enough for any new website and finally making sure you have control over which links which outbound links on your website are no follow and uh, using the ultimate no follow plugin is going to give you that kind of control so once you've gone through those last two lessons tighten this up your WordPress website is good to go now you just need to start adding content to it on a regular basis get some good backlink in place and watch your rankings go up so hope you learned something in this series and if you missed the last two you can head back to my blog you're gonna find them there Thanks very much, everyone. Happy WordPressing.